Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution, most lawnmower repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the mower's engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To avoid spillage, we recommend emptying the fuel tank as well. To access the cutting blade assembly, carefully set the lawnmower on its side. Use a wood block or a comparable sturdy object to hold the blade in place. Then use a 5 8 inch socket and strike it with a hammer to help loosen the mounting bolt. Unthread the bolt to remove the blade and support. With the blade off, you can use the hammer or a gear puller to help remove the blade adapter. Replace or reinstall the blade adapter by aligning the key in the adapter with the slot in the crankshaft, then slide it into position. Replace the cutting blade by aligning it on the adapter with the sharp edge facing away from the deck. Reposition the blade support and rethread the mounting bolt. Use the wood block to hold the blade in place. Tighten the mounting bolt and torque the bolt to 42 foot-pounds. Return the mower to its upright position. If you need to remove the wheels and axle, first note the position of the adjustment lever, then lift up the mower and support it. Use a flathead screwdriver to help pry off both wheel covers. Now use a 9 16 inch socket to help loosen the mounting nuts securing the wheels. Unthread the nuts and you can remove both wheels. To remove the axle, carefully set the mower on its side and use a large flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs holding the axle in place. Pull the axle free. Replace or reinstall the axle by first confirming that the adjustment lever is on the right side of the mower. Then align the axle and snap it into place in the housing. Return the mower to its upright position and support it. Replace both wheels by sliding them onto the axle. Rethread the mounting nuts and tighten. Align the wheel covers and snap them into place. Remove the support and confirm that the adjustment lever is at the appropriate position. To detach the rear door assembly, lift up the door and remove the grass bag if still in place. Now use channel lock pliers to grip the rear door hinge rod and strike the pliers with a hammer to push the rod through the rear axle housing. Grab the end of the rod and pull it all of the way out. You can now remove the rest of the rear door assembly. Reinstall the assembly by positioning it on the housing, making sure the springs are hooked on the edge.
Insert the hinge rod and use a hammer and a large flathead screwdriver to fully seat it. You can replace the grass bag by lifting up the rear door, positioning the frame posts, and lowering the rear door to hold the bag in place. To replace the control cable, disconnect the upper Z end of the cable from the bail arm. Next, cut the zip tie securing the cable to the handle assembly. Use pliers to squeeze the tabs to release the cable from the stop lever and disconnect the lower Z end from the motor bracket. Rotate the cable support 90 degrees to fully release the old cable. Install the new control cable by inserting the support into the hole in the handle assembly at a 90 degree angle, then rotate. Attach the lower Z end of the cable to the motor bracket and snap the cable into place on the stop lever. Insert the upper Z end into the bail arm. Use zip ties to secure the new cable to the handle. With the mower fully reassembled, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your lawnmower should be ready for use.